Okay guys, so in this video we're going to be um, talking about the media bin and we're going to be bringing in a few pieces of media so you can see how to import the media into Camtasia so it's ready for you to cut up and edit and turn into a video. So the media bin, we can have images, we can have video and we can have audio. Most formats are supported. I've used Camtasia for years and I've only a couple of occasions ever come up on something that's not supported which was some weird uh, random video file. Most of the time I guess you'll be using MP4 and MOV videos anyway, so uh, you should be fine with, with everything working in that way. This is the media bin over here, this is where we kind of see what's in the media bin visually. If you don't see this here, it might be that it's um, contracted like that. If you click the word media on this left menu here, it, it expands and contracts, which is great for when you want a bit more space in this canvas area sometimes. Now we've got several different ways we can import the media. Uh, first of all up here you can go to file and import media never actually use that but you can do that browse your computer next you can click this green button here and you can browse your computer and here down there you've got this plus icon as well and you can import media that way now the way I always do it the way I like to do it uh, the easy way is I can just drag and drop like this so I usually know where my fo files are on my computer and it's just as easy for me to keep a folder open like this just drag and drop in whatever I need so we got an image we got audio and then we got video coming in there like that okay <clears throat> that's just loading up notice with this video I can sc uh, scroll over it like this and I can see it playing uh, obviously you can't do that with the image you can also preview stuff that's in the media bin by double clicking on it like this Okay, so you can just preview that. You can do the same with a video. Just preview that little video clip there like that. Just get rid of that. Now, <clears throat> I'll just show you, although we're not gonna get into editing now, I'll just show you when you wanna start uh, building up your video and putting your video together, we can literally just drag and drop down here onto the timeline like this. Drag and drop our image. Just move that over. And then drag and drop audio like that so that's how you get stuff onto the timeline although we're not going to look at that at the moment um, you can also delete stuff out of here if I right click we can hit delete like that and because it's on the timeline it's going to give us this warning here so you might delete sometimes it gets pretty busy in here <clears throat> you might um, delete something by accident on the timeline so it's giving us a warning there we can also preview this by the way in list view like that uh, which I personally don't like to do I like to have it on this one and we can also rename these as well like this so uh, rename it like that so that you know you know you might have a lot of video clips coming in from a DLSR and they might just be numbers so it, it sometimes it's dead handy to be able to name all this stuff up here as well uh, <clears throat> one other thing I'll show you some after we've done the editing video I'll show you some tricks like when you make templates and stuff but um, you can also uh, update this so if I right click and go update media I should be able to change that to there like that okay so that's really handy when you're doing templates and stuff like that but it's a little bit more advanced so I'll show you that further down the road even after the editing videos so that is your media bin uh, fill it up with all the stuff you want to use to edit um, uh, and then like I say we drag it down onto the timeline so it's pretty straightforward pretty easy again you can minimize it so it gives you more room like that and just maximize it when you want to use the stuff okay thanks guys and I'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching the video to watch the next one click right here and don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here